And I was 22 years old when I got the phone call about the New Orleans fire. I remember that moment, it is seared into my own memory. And one of the things I remember about it is that we didn't know the term hate crime in those days. That term wasn't even used. And we knew that there were many people who would either not care that these people died, or who would make light of it or rejoice. We still live in a world where that reality is true in many, many places in the world. I'm proud to be part and leader of Metropolitan Community Churches. We are a place where we deal with faith and religion. You know, faith can be the most destructive force on earth and it can tear people apart, it can be a force for intolerance, or it can be a voice for justice and love and hope. And we want to be that faith voice of justice and love and hope in our world. Amen. We are a community that is growing more global every single day. We have churches or ministries in over 40 countries, but in many, many more dozens of countries where we are aligned with and in solidarity with activists who are seeking to be in connection with people of faith and people of justice who will help make their situations visible in a world. It is visibility, invisibility is the enemy of justice. When we cannot see things, hear them, or know about them, uh, that is when there is the most danger. It is when we make things visible and when we are willing to risk to be there for one another in the world that we believe that things can change. I'm proud to be with people up here who are incredible leaders and make change in our world and are affiliated or connected in some way to metropolitan community churches. And I believe that uh, the work we've done has only begun and I believe it is really time to make our voices heard around the world. I'm so proud that MCC is the founder along with the Fellowship of Affirming Ministries of the Global Justice Institute which uh, is able to do things around the world that are making a difference. Thank you.